Hey there. Welcome to Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend. Joined by my two friends. I consider you friends. Oh, that's yeah. nice. No, it took a while. Oh. Um, Five but, years. Uh, yes. Fifteen. Fi <laughs> <laughs> Is that how, Sona, how long have you been with me? You know, I, I actually just messaged you recently because I found 15 years ago on December 3rd, I found out I got my job because wow. it's my best friend Christina's birthday. And and I, I emailed you. I was she like, emailed me. It was very sweet. And she said that was 15 years ago that she met. She was going to be my brand new assistant because I was moving out to Los Angeles uh, to host a Tonight Show for 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> the plan went off without a hitch. Um, but uh, <laughs> I'll never forget, you met me. We had the interview and then I, you were told that you were hired and then we met at a coffee shop yeah. on San Vicente in Brentwood. I remembered in the meeting that that for some reason you were sitting on a couch that I think was a very low couch and had a soft cushion. So people were asking me, who'd you end up hiring? And I said, oh, it's this woman, Sona. She seems really bright and I, she's highly recommended. Um, and so I hired her and they're like, well, what's she, what's she like? I said, she's got dark hair. She's really short. <laughs> Cause I just remembered thinking you were really short cause you sunk into the couch. So then I meet you at this coffee shop and you are tall. Yeah. Pretty tall. I mean, but with uh, your hair was was up. Well, oh, you had your hair bun up, so oh. made you over eight feet high. Oh. And uh, uh, but you came in, and I remembered it, Sona had a notebook, and she was writing everything I said down very seriously. And we had a professional exchange. It was nice for the last uh. time. <laughs> it was so hilarious because, and I will say. I did more to corrupt things immediately than anyone. You did all of it. I did all my Conan shtick. And yeah. very quickly, you said, I'm not going to listen to anything this guy says. Nothing serious. He's a fool. Yeah. But I always go back to that first time. Sona walks in, um, taller than I had remembered. So that's the first thing that struck me. Notebook, writing everything down. And then on her own initiative, because I was moving my whole family uh, out from New York, she made a book for me, like a professional book that she had bound that said, here's what helpful things to know about L.A. And it included uh, when it first rains in L.A., there's a lot of sediment because it doesn't rain regularly. So drive more carefully. <laughs> um, the secret menu for in and out. Yeah, no, oh, seriously. That's good. No, no, seriously, it was filled. And it was a book that you could have published that you just made on your own. And I remembered uh, thinking this person is fantastic and then i immediately corrupted you yeah and it reminds me of on the simpsons uh I, I didn't write this joke but someone wrote this joke where you know barney's really smart and he's studying hard for the you know lsat or something he's just but barney and and then homer ke convinces him to have a drink <laughs> of beer and he has it and oh, he immediately right. turns into barney right. and he's like <laughs> And you see, uh, I'm Barney. I, uh -huh. Oh, well, yeah. he's Homer. I realized. Oh, okay. I infected you with the Conan uh, stupidity. Yeah. And then that was all gone. And then it went from, "Hey, Sona, you know, when is my car going to be out of my sh out of the shop?" Boo hoo! <laughs> Conan doesn't have his car. Fancy talk show host won't have a way to. Yeah. No, Sona, I know. I'm just curious when it's going to be out, so I know that I don't have to take an Uber. <laughs> Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend is brought to you by the Kia EV9 and Sirius XM. Sony, you remember we talked about the Kia EV9 and um, we finally got to see it. Ooh. I went down and looked at it. Beautiful. Uh, well, first of all, the color was gorgeous. It's just nice blue. It's got this very spacious third row. Yeah. I love a third row. I'm a large fellow. As you know, I'm 6'4", all, yes. all muscle. Okay. Well, and, that's um, debatable. I was very comfortable. I really enjoyed it. And you know the plan. The plan is to have my assistant who took over for you because... You weren't working out, David. Oh. Um, well, you know what I mean. You're goofing around a lot. Okay. David came in, and David, you're going to run some errands for me in the Kia EV9. I'm excited. It's a good looking car. It is. And you and I sat in it for a second. It felt very comfortable. Oh, wait. So much space. Here's a little plus I want to add Sirius XM offers a three month trial subscription to all equipped Kia vehicles. Sirius XM provides access to over 165 plus channels in the vehicle to listen to ad free music, plus sports, news, comedy, and more, including fan favorite Conan O'Brien Radio on channel 
104. Mm-hmm. I'm going to send you out. All right. You're going to go out in the EV9 and uh, you're going to do some errands for me. Great. Just enjoy this car. You're a young guy. This is a fine, fine car. Okay. I'm not saying that you don't deserve to drive a car this nice, mm. but I yeah, am saying that. Yeah, That's exactly is. what yeah, I'm there saying. There it is. The all new, all electric three row Kia EV9. Visit kia.com slash EV9 to learn more. Kia.com slash EV9. Kia. Movement that inspires. I think you're giving me too much credit. I think your kids actually said the most accurate thing, which is you uh, you melted half my brain. And then they you said, well, what ha- what was wrong with her first half of her brain? And they were like, it was already melted. Yes, this is my kids when they were little. I said something about Sona and they went, you melted half her brain. And these are little kids. And I said, well, what about the first half? And they went, that was already melted. <laughs> I'm like, I think that is the best description of my relationship with Sona. Now, Gorley came to me more fully formed as a, as a human being. Uh-huh. And I've tried to damage you, uh, but you seem more resistant. Oh, I'm pre-damaged. You're oh, pre-damaged. Yeah. yeah, I think. But I'm you just... seem like you have it together. Oh, You're no, very... no. Falling apart. Okay. okay. Yeah. Wow, okay. you make falling apart look pretty good. Oh, <laughs> You can clean up real nice. Yeah, you know? I think so. Yeah, uh, it's no. it is it is funny how uh, these little memories come along and you you time travel back to. Oh right, uh, I was an adult who was a, a TV host who was meeting an assistant and we were a professional. Yeah, seconds before it all went to cuckoo town, right, you got I, in just just in time. I, I I want someone to do a deep dive of people before they met you and after they met you and how how much you ruined them. Well, you know what's been amazing is my wife. My my wife is uh, just so, Liza is so adept at parrying my madness and, han- you know, handling it. And you know that thing I do where I'm just saying crazy things and Sonam will say, What'd you say that for? And I'll say, don't let him bother you. Uh-huh. Meaning I talk about myself in the yes. third person. And I managed to get people around me going, what do you mean him? And I go, he's just, and they'll be who? And I'll be like, Conan. Conan's just in one of those, it's just Conan doing his Conan thing. And they're like, no, you're, it's so great because I do that around uh, Liza. And she's like, uh-huh. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> she's completely unfazed. She is not having it. It's not. You make all of us unhireable. Yes, it's, and you do. I think you do it on purpose. Like you I don't. Blake can't work anywhere else. No. No. I've been ruined. Yes. Yeah. 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 No, no, it's none true. of us can work anywhere. No, else. Eduardo. Eduardo uh, could st- hasn't been ruined yet. Eduardo, I think, could still, and you will soon work someplace <laughs> else because I know you have that look of someone who's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> but Eduardo, I haven't ruined you yet, right? No, I don't think so. Yeah, uh, but you are very comfortable giving me tons of shit constantly now. I am. Thanks to Sona. Yeah. 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 That's my I mean, legacy. I think you came in the other day and just uh, immediately attacked me for something. I've I can't never remember what it was. I've never flipped off anyone more times in oh. my life. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll see, good, I'll see Eduardo like walking down the street and I'll lower my window and go like, Eduardo! And he flips me off. <laughs> I'm like, wow, that guy hates. <laughs> Don't talk to me in public, asshole. Yeah. Yeah. I know. <laughs> What's it like to work for someone you're like scared of? I would yeah. never know that. I know. I learned I, that too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, like, no, no one has... Uh, uh, anyone who knows me is immediately unafraid <laughs> to just to tell me exactly what they think but of I me. But I think it's a, it's not that, it's, <laughs> I don't want to speak for you two, but it's not that you feel like powerful. It's more a defense mechanism of like, I you have to put up your walls with this guy. You mm. have to defend yourself. At this guy, point. by the way, is out of control. This yeah. guy is. Well, this guy Conan. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And I've noticed it too with him. I think he's, I think he's, <laughs> I think he's insanely <laughs> talented. This is madness. No, no, he's insane. <laughs> Look, I'm saying this as a, I've watched him for a while. He's crazy <laughs> off the charts. Um, wrap it up, dick face. <laughs> <laughs> well, probably means Conan. That's the way, but you know what? To match credit, that's how you have to deal with Conan. Because he's... He, he is what he's what he's a once in a hundred year talent, but then oh, he man. gets off the rails, and this is how he has to be dealt with. So I'm what you guys are doing is perfect. Uh, so I anyway. would say you are a once in a hundred year something. Yeah. <laughs>